Hello everyone, welcome to another ChatGPT video. Now in this video, I will show you how to use ChatGPT4 for sports betting. Now I'm using ChatGPT3, but this is pretty much, uh, you know, self-explanatory and it can be applied to ChatGPT4 as well. So obviously this is ChatGPT, right? But I have actually one website right here where I found really good prompts. So it's called Slotgator or Slotgrater. Now, as you can see, there are a couple of prompts that you can go and put in if you want to use ChatGPT for sports betting. Now, as you can see, here is one prompt at like a sports analyst, collect head to head statistics between AC Milan and Napoli in the Champions League. Consider the fact that in AC Milan's last five matches in Italy, uh, the team won once, lost twice and tied twice. So basically we're giving, um, you know, ChatGPT uh, input on sports betting and on sports environment. So what we can do is we can go here and we can paste that prompt here. As you can see, we can enter it right here. And uh, as you can see, what ChatGPT will give you is it will give you pretty much, uh, you know, who to bet on and like which club would be best to bet on, right? So as you can see, it's basically giving you logical explanation uh, why each team struggled and how you can go and, you know, which team should be your main priority when you're betting on that team. Now, while this is running, I will also show you right here. As you can see right here, ChatGPT can also involve strategies as well. So for example, this can be such as generating a list of betting strategies for you to choose from, or it can be very involved such as creating a bot for arbitrage betting, which one YouTuber has actually done. Arbitrage betting involves seeking out two bookmakers with different odds on a single match and placing bets on both sides so that you profit no matter who wins. So as you can see, this is also what you can do. Obviously, you can also play casino games using ChatGPT and create casino games. But overall, uh, ChatGPT can be used for betting. Now, as you can see, right here, we got the whole description right here. Uh, and as you can see, however, I expect the match to be tightly fought affair with both teams showcasing their quality. It's plausible that the final scoreline could be a draw. As you can see, so it's, it's giving us an answer that this uh, match between AC Milan and Napoli should be a draw. So we can go and we can basically place bets based on that, right? So this is only one way how you can go and how you can use ChatGPT for sports betting. Now, obviously, there are different ways, different strategies that you can go and that you can use in order to go and, uh, you know, have sports betting, uh, you know, on uh, you know ChatGPT and with ChatGPT. So if you want more videos just like this, more interesting videos, definitely consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.